Hi, I'm Dr. Schweinsgruber from audioreviews.org and today we are having a look at this uh, brand new KZ model, one of over 40 um, that actually sports 10 balanced armature drivers. Uh, it's called the ASX. KZ have been around since 2014. They have output approximately 50 models almost. This is the new flagship at around $100, um, the uh, ASX. And uh, the question is, is it convincing? Because typically a 10 driver side earphone costs you thousands of dollars and not just $100. So is this worth your $100? We'll find out in a second. Let's have a look at the specifications of the KC ASX. They have 10 drivers a side. They're all balanced armature drivers. They have a very low impedance of 20 ohm at a sensitivity of 106 decibels. That makes them really easy to drive with every phone or simple DAP. The frequency range is quite large between 20 and 40,000 hertz and uh, the cable is connected with a 2 pin 0.75 millimeter uh, connector. What's in the box? First of all the earpieces and uh, three pairs of silicone ear tips. These are very very light, very thin. The membrane is very thin but they fit me very well actually. Then we have a four core cable that is extremely poor for an earphone of this uh, price. It's probably the cheapest possible cable you could get. It is, it is pretty little pliable, it's not very supple. However, it, it works and it uh, has no microphonics. And the connectors are two pin point. 75 uh, connectors and then we have the paperwork here and we have a totally useless plug. They really should have used the money for that uh, for the uh, useful accessories. These uh, earpieces are rather big uh, but they are actually light and they fit me very well. That's really strange and you see that the nozzle is relatively short and I think it's only four millimeters in, in diameter so you may have problems with your standard uh, third-party aftermarket uh, ear tips. And here we have four of these 10 BAs um, visible in, in the uh, earpiece. As I said, they fit well, they have a strange shape these earpieces fit very well, they are light. But overall, the accessories of this $100 earphone are subpar. Okay, what uh, on sound? Okay, so let's just have a look at, um, at the graph. It's a strong V-shape. As you see, we have an elevated Bass peaking at around 50, 60 hertz. So that's the, the transition of bass to sub bass as a good extension. We have an, a prominent plateau between 2 and uh, 6 uh, kilohertz. We do have a trough in the lower mid range, that's the vocals department, at around 6, 700 hertz. Uh, the climb up uh, to that upper mid-range is about 15 decibel. That's very, very much. Um, the 5-6K peak is possibly a, uh, um, a uh, driver resonance, one of these BA drivers, one of these 10 drivers. But what we also have is a very strong decline above 6 kilohertz into the treble and we literally have no treble extension, no treble extension whatsoever. And the question is where are these 10 drivers coming in? Now 
what I hear, first of all, I would expect to hear an overcooked, hot upper mid-range, a very sharp, aggressive sound. This is actually not the case. The sound is uh, characterized by a very thumpy, boomy bass that smears into the mid-range, um, that actually smears into everything. And uh, it's also characterized by that lack of, of, of treble that uh, sucks out any sparkle. The sound is lackluster, dull. It has a very congested soundstage. Uh, bass and lack of treble don't do any good for the soundstage and the overall perception. It is a dull sounding, narrow sounding earphone. And uh, if you have music that doesn't have any bass, like some voices or something, then um, this one takes over the upper mid-range and it causes that hotness that goes under in the mix. In a normal musical piece, pop music, rock music, etc., um, the bass is, dominates the upper mid-range. Treble, I'm sorry, I don't know what happened here. So it takes 10 drivers to come up with that graph. Holy moly. So where does this leave us? The mid-range in this trough is really recessed. It's very recessed, it's lean. It's way too far behind, especially for 10 drivers. And the technicalities, uh, tombre, as the French say, well, it's just muffled. It just, it just gets this smear of the bass and this lack of trebles, we've got it muffled and the mid-range is not clear and uh, the resolution gets affected and the clarity. So, no, I'm sorry, uh, the sound is not what you expect from a 10-driver earphone. Let's come to the conclusions. I think uh, this earphone, despite its uh, 10 drivers, is not worth $100. In fact, I think it's a total dud. It is muffled, it is muted, the, it doesn't live up to its technical description by the company. Um, the accessories are subpar, it's got a very simple cable. Um, it, uh, well, the only good thing is that it, uh, it, it's actually quite comfortable and uh, it, uh, yeah, it, it, it works out of the box. But other than that, it's, I would just not, not buy it. I would be extremely unhappy if I spend a hundred US dollars on this earphone. Sorry to disappoint you, but I'm just a product tester. There is also a written review of the KCASX earphone on audioreviews.org. Please check it out for more details. Thank you very much. Auf Wiedersehen, goodbye, Dr. Schweinsgruber, Calgary, out. If you like this video, please give us a like and please subscribe to our channel and push this little bell to receive notifications. And if you think our videos save you money in the long run, please don't hesitate to give us a small PayPal donation to cover our cost. Also, please visit our blog. It's our main medium, our main way of communication with you. And don't forget to subscribe to our ever-growing and very vibrant Facebook discussion group. Thank you very much for watching.